Disclaimer, this video is totally made about fiction. Nothing is related to reality. Ignore my mistakes. It's totally imaginary. Nothing is related to either's real life. Don't take it seriously. I'm not encouraging anyone to get influenced by it. The voice in the video is mine. Picture credit goes to the owner. Please don't copy my content. They both were closing their eyes, attaching their forehead. Let them enjoy each other's company. Till then, I will tell you. Who is Lee Sung Woo? Lee Sung Woo, best friend of Fayan. He was so sweet with her that she trusted him blindly. But Sung Woo was a disgusted man. He had bad intentions towards Fayan. He wanted to get with her and never visited his home. But one day, he called her saying his parents wants to meet her. She went there excitedly, wanting to meet her best friend's parents, but that disgusted piece of tried to himself on her by his behavior. She was trying her best to protect herself and while protecting, she saw a knife in fruit basket. She took it and him on his back. He groaned in. She took the chance and ran from there. She was crying badly, praying to God to protect her, and Zongu was following her, ignoring his. He was angry too. If we catch her, he will not gonna leave her. She sat in her car and started driving at full speed. She doesn't care if she with car she doesn't care because it was better if she rather than getting she looked at side mirror to see if he's following her or not and in that she didn't realize when a truck comes from side and fresh present tear fell down when and after i woke up i was told that i can't walk with my legs Then's eyes were also moist when he got disappeared after that, but when I saw him that day at office, I got, I'm still having those nightmares. Now, I don't know how will I handle another trauma, so. Theong pulled her to his. Theong, you're not alone, Ryan. I'm with you. We will get through it together. I will not leave that. Lee sung has to pay. I promise I will not leave him. I will take your revenge. Your husband will take your revenge. Wen was feeling warm in her heart. She clenched his shirt, closing her eyes, and was listening to his words. She was feeling safe. Wen remembered something and backed off. She opened the side table drawer to find her medicines, but it was nowhere. Are you finding these? Wen looked at him and saw him holding the bottle. Wen, yes, give it to me. Theo, look at her angrily. Theo, so you can make your we brain weak. Wen eyes widen. Theo, are you crazy? It's so Wen, Wen, not more than those nightmares. Then anger melted. He quickly cupped her face. Then, when if you feel scared, then just hug me and remind yourself that I'm here with you. Making your brain numb is not a solution, Wayne. When you are stubborn, aren't you? Then you don't know me yet. Wayne chuckled a little. She smiled, looking at him, and it will not be a lie if I say he fell miserably for her. She looked at his eye and hugged him slowly, resting her head on his. He smiled. She also smiled when heard. His heart beat quicken. They both have fallen for each other badly, but were not ready to confess. A few days passed by. Lee Song Woo was found on the road badly. His legs were totally damaged that he couldn't walk in his whole life, and also he was not able to talk. Who knows what happened to him?
Ruhan was watching news with his mom. She got shocked. She looked at Tayang who was smirking. They both shared an eye contact and he shrugged his shoulder like he is the most innocent human being in the, this world. Time skip. Then entered into room and looked at Ryan, who was lost in her thoughts. He sat beside her in bed. Theo, where are you lost? Hmm? Ryan, you did that to him, right? Theo, who? Innocent. Ryan, don't be innocent. I can still see your smirk. This smirk got wider. Theo, you know what? He deserved that. He thought having a hyper reaction but said he got a warm hug. He smiled and hugged her back. Ryan, thank you for always being there for me. Then I want something in return. Ryan frowned and looked up. Ryan, what? Then let's go to the doctor for your checkup. Ryan face turned black. Ryan, am I a burden to you? Tayong cupped her face. Tayong, don't think like that. I don't have any problem taking you everywhere in my arms. But I also want to hold your hand and walk together. Whole life. Ryan, aren't we supposed to get in five months? Tayong raised his eyebrow. Tayong, do you think I will let that happen? When breaking deals is not professional, Mr. Kim. Then, then let's break it practically smart. When what? He's smart. When roll our eyes. Then we are going and that's final. When no please. It's need a proper bed dress. I can't. I don't have time. Then don't you want to carry your baby and walk him? I want to see you roaming with a... When blink her eyes was rushing to her cheeks, what he was saying, Oh God. Then you don't have to worry about anything. I will handle everything. Just agree with me. And we will get through this phase too. Then tell me, will you accompany me? Why not it with a slight smile? Months pass. My sweet paint is going really well. She is recovering. Then doesn't let her get up until the time of her walking session. He's handling the business with the help of Jimin. Now, Wan was starting feeling her legs, but it to move. Right now, it was time of our walking session. Then, come on, Wan, get up. She was trying to get up by her own from wheelchair. It was like. Ryan, she said trying to get up. Then you can do it, Ryan. I know. She fell back on her seat, disappointed. She can't. She looked at Tayong's face, which was sad. She looked at him for a few seconds. She will try. She will try again for that boxy smile. She again put press on her hands, slowly getting up. Tang's eyes sparkled and oh god, Wan took it as a strength. He was standing at a little distance. He opened his arm inviting her. Then, come on Wan. Shiny eyes. Wan took baby steps with expressions. Tang was looking like a mom who was excited to see her baby taking first steps. She took steps and yeah, finally, she is in arms of her husband. Then, you did it right now. I'm so proud of you. Crack voice.
Wan knew that he must have tears in his eyes. She was also crying. Wan, just because of you. He, her forehead. Mr. and Mrs. Kim were smiling while sitting at a distance enjoying their coffee. Mrs. Kim, they are so cute. Mr. Kim, yeah, I never knew that your dude son can be this much. Mrs. Kim, did you forget our starting marriage days? Mr. Kim chuckled. Hiding the truth, there was no such deal of getting separated after six months. But Dad always wanted to marry her with his best friend's son. Time skipped. Then was waiting on stage for his bride. Yeah, today is his second marriage. He left Wyan. He looked at his bride, who was walking towards him while holding her best friend's hand. He smiled at his feet. Damn, my Brian whispered when he's getting married with Brian. I know you all know. Jimin gave her hand to him. Jimin, take care of her. Damn, as you say, Appa, Jimin chuckled and Brian came in front of him. They both were staring at each other's eyes. After both, it was time to their wedding. Theo, may I? Wen blushed. Wen nodded, making him chuckle. He slowly closed the between them. Everyone clapped. They backed off, and Wen's eyes were teary. Wen, I love you. Thank Buzz Cookin, she is the one who confessed first. Theo, I love you more. Forehead. They both closed their eyes, attaching their foreheads. No bonus. The end.